my channel mammals. <laughs> well, you're here bright and early today. <laughs> I just ran out and got some biscuits. Today, we're going to be making the last of the four biscuits that we're sending off to the Patreon patrons as a, a little surprise, but some of them might be watching, so maybe you can just cover their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it won't be a surprise, but it'll be fun for them to actually see it in person. Anyway, this group um, are the ones that I'm going to show you how we're making today. I made a few ahead, um, and now we're on the last layer. And I'm actually getting better at making them. <laughs> oh, when I was watching in through the window, I thought, oh, they probably saw another project I'm working on, which it's the um, crystallized orange rinds, which I do often and I thought oh well I'll show it to, I'll show you how to do it but since they're kind of in process here I can show you this and then stick it onto the video that I actually do for them if you like aren't they pretty mm -hmm, I know now the thing about these is these are sort of the working class um, grade of orange uh, rinds because I just make them for chopping up and putting on the porridge of the Boat Boys and Richard in the mornings. So I don't do all the finer work that you would do if you were going to serve them on a beautiful custard or, or cake. So these are, these like for instance, they still, they still have their pith on them. Can you see that? <laughs> Let's see, I'll pick up one that maybe is more, even more obvious here. Here's one. You can see it even more obviously. See that? So, um, but I actually like the pith on them. It has a different texture, an added texture. You know, there's the the crispness of the of the rind, and then there's the kind of gelatinous uh, taste and and feel of the pith. And people say it's bitter, but I don't think it is. My goodness, with all that crystallized sugar, there's no way it could be bitter. And Anyway, I'm going to tell you something. My favorite part, just a second. My favorite part of making crystallized orange rinds is that you have to eat oranges before you can make the product. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> How many recipes say that you have to eat oranges first? <laughs> that, or, or that you have to eat before you eat? <laughs> Okay, now I'll have to just sort of lean down to talk to you for right now so you can still see what I'm doing. I didn't show the actual mixing of the batter or the uh, dough because it's loud and it's not very interesting <laughs> unless there's some special technique that has to go into it. In this case, it was just measuring out the um, elements, which I'll give you, and, um, and then beating the heck out of it. <laughs> So all the butter and sugar and everything was well blended. But it, I doubled the amount of chocolate in it, um, cocoa, and I doubled the amount of um, mint because it just doesn't seem to have enough um, oomph to it, to me, um, to break through the sugar unless you do more of the flavor. So that's the only thing um, that I'll, I'll just tell you as a little hint <laughs> that, that I did. And you can taste it and bake a little biscuit and see if you think it comes out um, with the uh, intensity of flavor you'd like. And then you can add more, just knead more into it. That's all I did. Um, I did, I just added more cocoa and more uh, of the mint. Uh, it was, I used um, mint oil, the oil of mint, but you can also use an extract. I'm sure it's, it's about the same ones made with water, one with oil, I think. So. Um, Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to use my, um, we call him Uncle Robert. <laughs> he's a patron and, uh, and he's a, um, you know, Patreon patron. He's also of, of, of Yankee and of this work. This is just a little um, flour to uh, make it not stick. Um, anyway, this is his grandmother's rolling pin that he sent me when he first saw my first apple pie video. And, um, and thought, you know, I think she could put some better use to it than I can. <laughs> so his, his name is 
a Mr. Robert Duffy. We've never met him. Oh, well, actually, we have met him, but we didn't realize that we had. Um, we, we found out later that we had met him when he came and volunteered one time for a special event that we had um, um, up in King Ferry. So that was fun to know that, he and his wife. And so here we are. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more flour here just to make it more supple. And But this is a bigger block, and so I, I need to use the big... Uh, rolling pin to put the pressure on it and I mean this is also kind of a boring tedious thing that everybody already has seen a million times but it's a chance for us to visit <laughs> and be together otherwise um, you know we could probably do away with most of the videos <laughs> most everybody has chopped wood and <laughs> um, you know, shown pigs <laughs> at the state fair. <laughs> I'm joking, but you know, there are lots of things we all do every day. But it's just sometimes fun to not be doing them and just enjoying watching them. There, there was a man in church the other day. His name is um, Mickey, and he, he after church, he gave us a little pocket full of sweets, each of us. Richard and um, our friend Sherry and Seuss and, and I and, uh, and a couple of other folks. And, and I had never seen such beautiful wrappers in all my life. I just loved them. I felt like I was in an ancient childhood somewhere far away where every care went into even the wrapper of the sweet. And um, I asked him where he got them. And he said, he showed me a little tag around his neck. <laughs> He's a real character, this fellow. And he, he said, I got them at net cost. And I thought, ooh, that sounds not very elegant or amazing. And it, it sounded like, you know, I don't know, a discount um, tire shop or <laughs> something of that nature. <laughs> but... I found one. There are several in New York City, in the, in the archipelago of New York City. There's even one on Staten Island. But I went to one in Brooklyn on our way back from church because it was open on Sunday. And Richard and I felt like we were visiting the circus. But we spent a goodly part of the afternoon up and down every nook and cranny. Everybody was different. They were all mostly Russian and... Um, and I think a lot of things were, um, um, you know, um, maybe it was the Russian Jews that, that opened these markets. I'm not sure because there were a lot of things that were kosher, but everything was absolutely gorgeous, as well as the people. They were so precious. Everywhere we looked, everyone was so different from us. And, but, but so like us in the same, you know, just the way the world is. We're really one. We just have to realize that. Then we see we have the same goals, actually. But anyway, that's another subject. But right now, I just want to tell you that this place was alive. Every single thing that was fresh, it was like a cartoon of what, like, what does a pickle look like? It was a cartoon of a pickle, the perfect pickles, all of them with little bump, little bumps all over them from Russia. From the, and I've been to Russia, you know, out in the in the in the woods and the forests, and everything is very, just natural. And I, I don't know, it, it's it's really fun to, to visit. And anyway, every cake, every muffin, every stick of bread, every every olive, every, I, I, I can't even explain it. If you ever want to go on a journey to New York, you must go to net um, cost. You'll never forget it. It's, 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 and so then, and guess what? We found slippers there. Can you imagine in a grocery store? It's a grocery store and they have slippers, every kind of slippers. Let me show you what I got for Whitaker. Just a second. Look at these slippers. They're made of fur. Real fur, bunny fur, I think, and and sheepskin. Aren't they amazing? And you should see them on the foot. I won't bother because I can't. Well, I could bring my foot all the way up, but it's not very polite. 
when you're making cookies. But anyway, aren't they great? Look at those. They're just, they're so luscious. They look like ice cream. And actually, I'm going to stop and show you the, bit, the cookies just a second. It's way off the subject. This video is going to be all over the place. I promise we're coming back to the biscuits. Just a second. Feast your eyes on these. Aren't they beautiful? I just, I, I can't get over it. I'm, going to, I'm just going to pick some up here and just show them to you. Oh, <laughs> what is this? I'm not sure. But isn't it a beautiful wrapping? And, and this. And look at the little bears on this one. Do you see little bears? And look at this one. <laughs> a little maid out in the out in the garden and oh here's another little girl picking flowers um look at this city this magical city and beautiful poppies and just another amazing design oh look at this it's so classic i can't read it of course but it's beautiful this one, the cow, see the cow? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is huge. <laughs> and this is huge. And who knows it, what it is. Uh, every, every one, every one is just, look at this little ladybird. Isn't that sweet on the leaf? Uh, another big one. Oh, an old barrel. Oh, every... I mean, a strawberry. It just it just goes on on. Look at that, on and on an airplane. <laughs> it, it's it's just every one every one. I can't I can't I can't even I can't get over it. And every store has more different wrappers and different sweets inside of them. Oh gosh, this is absolutely elegant oh look at this isn't that cute that every a squirrel and look at the lady isn't she beautiful I, 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 lemons and a, another kind of a oh look at the little bears marching along <laughs> it goes it just look at this gorgeous like almost like a a beautiful tapestry. Uh, anyway, we, we're not supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be making cookies. And if we don't hurry up, this will not, it wasn't supposed to be a Christmas gift. It's turning into a Christmas gift. Pretty soon, it's going to be a, an epiphany gift if we don't hurry. So let's get going. I started out using regular, regular sugar to put on top of them. But regular sugar doesn't have sparkles so much. But then they have special sugars that are a little bit bigger crystals, but they're very expensive, just a tiny little jar. You know, you don't, you don't get, get enough to make all these biscuits and to feel free to just spray it and, you know, play with it out, out in space. But this had, you know, regular sugar in a bag, the way our sugar comes, um, but with its own designs. And, and the crystals were just a little bit bigger and a little bit more crystally. And so it was the perfect answer. You probably can't see it here. How can I show you? It's not as big as the really fancy ones, but it it just it looks just white to you. But in the light from here, I don't know why, but in real life it's very very sparkly and twinkly. So that's what I got in that shop. And um that, that reminded me to, to talk to you about it. Okay, so here we go. I usually start in the middle, oddly, because I also can tell the thickness of it by doing that as a little test, and then work out from there, and then put this little cutter in the middle, take it out, and do you know what I do with these? I could roll them back up and put them into the next batch of biscuits, but I make them into little tiny biscuits and they're really cute. I'll show you what happens in a minute. 
these come out really easily. And the dough is so malleable. It's really easy to work with. So I'm just going to keep on. I think it could be a little thinner. That's why I start in the middle, because I can push it out from the middle to um, make it look a little thinner here. And then right whilst it's on here, I put this little hexagon in the middle and pop it out and pop out the biscuit. right in the middle of the video here. <laughs> if you love this video, please tell us by subscribing, um, by telling your friends to subscribe, um, by commenting, and um, by looking up Patreon and seeing if that's a, a way for you to contribute. We don't have a hat to pass or a, a ticket box to go through. We just have um, just space between us and and air including us all and um and just the feeling of oneness but if you want to show in a little bit more concrete way please be sure to comment tell all your friends pass it around get it to fill the world and um subscribing and visit patreon and um and see what you think of that idea it's very it's very it's great fun it really is um i think it's it's going to be a, a wonderful idea as it progresses. Mm -hmm.